pretty fitting that this episode of new releases drops during Star Wars Celebration, because there's a ton of Disney games coming this week. I don't want to go all Charlie Kelly on you guys, but I think this conspiracy could go all the way to the top. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with all the latest theories. Now let's see what's launching this week. Telltale is literally launching into space with Guardians of the Galaxy Episode 1, titled Tangled Up in Blue. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if all the episodes ended up being named after Bob Dylan songs. In any case, you can expect the usual twists and turns as you make dialogue choices and universe-altering decisions for everyone's favorite space rebels. Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, Groot, and Rocket are all here for an original adventure that won't spoil any of the upcoming movie. But of course, you can always visit our GameSpot Universe channel for plenty of discussion on that. Telltale's Guardians of the Galaxy comes to PS4, Xbox One, PC, iOS, and Android on Tuesday, April 18th. Let's move from rocket ships to rad motorbikes. Full Throttle Remastered gives the 1995 classic some shiny new graphics, better sound, better controls, and developer commentary. For you purists out there, all the original voice work is intact, and you can swap between the new look and the retro graphics at any time. If you missed the ride the first time around, here's the gist. It's a point-and-click adventure from Double Fine, the same team that brought you modern adventures like Broken Age and Headlander. Full Throttle Remastered revs onto PS4, Vita, and PC on April 18th. Speaking of 90s adventure games getting remastered, let's talk about the Silver Case. You probably know Suda51 from games like No More Heroes and Killer7, but he also directed The Silver Case in 1999. It's the story of a bunch of crazy murders in a city called 24 Wards, and you take control of a detective and a journalist trying to piece it all together. The remake brings the case up to a shinier 1080p resolution, redesigns the UI, and includes new music and scenarios. You can start solving the mystery on PS4 on the 18th. Apparently April is just THE month to bring back old games, because the Disney Afternoon Collection packages together six nostalgia-filled 8-bit games. DuckTales 1 and 2, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers 1 and 2, Darkwing Duck, and Tailspin. These aren't remakes either, the games look and play exactly how you remember them. Although, because they aren't the easiest platformers out there, the collection does add a rewind feature to let you undo any of those bad jumps. You can also jump into time attack and boss rush modes, and compete in online leaderboards for the best scores. It all starts on the 18th on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Sorry Nintendo Switch owners. But you know what is coming to Switch? Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap, which is yet another remake of a retro platformer. This one features brand new hand-drawn graphics, new music, a new female protagonist, and more difficulty levels. If you've never played Wonder Boy, you're in for an adventure full of various animals with different powers, like a fire-spitting lizard and a flying hawk. And yes, you can switch back to the original look if you want to. You can do all that fun stuff on PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch on the 18th. Okay, let's review. Disney owns Marvel, so Guardians of the Galaxy already belongs to them. Full Throttle was originally developed by LucasArts, and Disney bought them in 2012. And that's a point-and-click adventure game just like The Silver Case. Disney Afternoon Collection is self-explanatory, and DuckTales released in 1989, the same year as the original Wonder Boy 3. Just as I suspected. Well anyway, those are the big games we'll be playing this week. As always, remember that release dates are based on retailer listings and are subject to change. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll be back with a jumbo-sized episode of new releases next week.